Hey YouTube. Okay, so um, now we're back upstairs in my Wiccan room. Um, I just did the um, Book of Shadows video for you guys, and this is going to be a little bit more explaining about my travel idea. Okay, so this is the concept in its rough stage. This box, not big enough for my needs, which is very sad, but... I'm dealing with it. So right now it's just kind of the open catch-all for the stuff that's going to be in it. So I showed you guys my traveling grimoires here. Um, and there will be spells and things put in the back, as well as daily prayers and things like that. This is actually almost completely full. Um, there will be no room to add anything in. Once it's full, it's going to be full. <clears throat> So that's my little grimoires, and um, so this goes with this box. Well, not this box. There's going to be a bigger box. <clears throat> this is my travel libation bowl, um, and I guess we'll start off over here. These are different things for different sabots and stuff. There will be one item for each representation of a sabbat, like um, the grain of stock, um, the ladybug, those are uh, summer solstice, la moss, um, my little uh, raven that my husband made me so that I can bring my raven everywhere with me. Over here we have representations of the four elements and the pentacle that I will use. Um, this is actually the pentacle that I used to wear around my neck for about six years. Um, I broke off the charm, the part that the necklace goes through, and I'm going to sand it down a little bit better. This is going to be my traveling altar pentacle. Um, the feather, uh, crow feather for north, and then we have um, our west, our east, a uh, little petrified wood, and um, a little dragon to represent south for fire. Um, that's the little guy that's normally on my altar, um, but he's going to be replaced by this dragon here. Um, I usually only use him during summer solstice, but um, we're going to put him on there for the rest of the time now, too. <laughs> this is my traveling crystal here, um, a bell, because a lot of spots require a bell. Um, there's a lot of personal meaning behind this necklace, so um, that'll be my bow. <clears throat> my Buddha. Um, I have Buddhas everywhere. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but um, Buddha was actually the very first thing that I studied when deciding that Christianity wasn't for me anymore and um, so the Buddha has some significant meaning for me and you can actually find him all over my house not just um, on my altar. Um, I think I have a total of 27 Buddhas in my home so um, I'm going to be bringing a Buddha with me and I have little satchels like this that will have some coins in it and then he's going to be in the satchel with the coins. Um, I have a smudge stick. These are the prayer beads that I purchased. I'm going to keep my prayer beads that I made at home. Um, this vial here is different looking because it has red brick dust in it. Um, so moving on from there, uh, we have a bunch of different stones. I still need to add more stones. Um, so far I have a couple pieces of citrine, um, tiger's eye, rose quartz, just a bunch of different things. And then these are the candles that I will be using for my traveling. Um, I actually started using these as, uh, spell candles when I saw a video of Charming Pixie Floras. Um, because they, she's right, they don't take as long to burn and you can get them in pretty much any color, so... I uh, need to get a couple gold and silver to put in here still. Um, these I saw, um, actually the concept for this was because I saw um, one of the ladies had for sale um, spells in a box. It came with um, a journal 
and a bunch of these with some herbs in them and you could do pretty much any spell you wanted and it was all within a box. So that's where the idea for this came from and so these will have a bunch of different herbs in them like this one has hydron in it um, for my spells and anything that I need for that. So there it is. This is my my traveling altar set so far. Um, I need to add some more colored candles in. Definitely some more stones. There will be more um, herbs as well in it. Um, I need more representations of each season. Like I'm going to put a little apple in for Maybon and um, things of that nature. Um, but this is my work in progress and what I have so far. Uh, you also need to get a uh, altar cloth that has a bunch of different of the colors on it, or I'm just going to go with a white one. Um, currently making a small statue. She'll be about a little bit larger than the Buddha here um, for a god and goddess that will actually go in here. And... Um, yeah, so need some ribbons and things of that nature. So there it is. That is my, basically, my Wiccan room in a box is the hoping concept behind it. And yeah, so I'll do another video when I get it actually done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But blessed be.